players in here. We'll get started with coach right away, Kareth. Thank you, Kareth Burke, NBC Sports Bay Area. Why did you guys have trouble making stops in the fourth quarter? Well, give them credit. I mean, they made 21 threes. Um, you know, they were moving the ball really well and uh, they, they had us on our heels. They made a, a good push, you know, to start the fourth and they kept that momentum going. Um, it's going to be it's going to be tough, uh, you know, to 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 beat Boston if, if they're making 21 threes and they're getting, you know, a combined 11 from you know, Horford and White. Um, you know, the, those guys um, give them credit. They knocked down every big shot in the fourth quarter. Um, they Boston was uh, just played a brilliant quarter and they they came in and earned the win. Logan on the right. Hey, Steve, you um, you uh, played Andre, obviously, today, big minutes. And what did you think of his performance out there? And what does he bring to your team that you didn't have? Well, we, we played him 12 minutes, so I wouldn't call it big minutes. But um, Andre was great. You know, he's got finals experience. Um, you know, he, uh, he gets us settled down. He's a great defender. So I thought Andre did a really good job out there. They jump, front. Yeah, they jump out to the 7 uh third quarter start without Steph. You get Steph back in, you're still up. And it almost went even faster. Did you sense a loss of composure, loss of focus? What, what do you think happened just in those moments? I thought we had uh, we had a couple turnovers, a couple bad possessions offensively, and they they just pounced. You know, they took advantage of of every opportunity. They moved the ball well, and like I said, you know, you make five six threes in a row in the fourth quarter. Um, then that's that's tough to tough to overcome. So, you know, we'll watch the tape and and learn from it and see what we can do better. Uh, my my gut reaction, just what I just witnessed, was they just came in, played a hell of a fourth quarter, and and you got to give them credit. And um, it's pretty much as simple as that. Anthony on the left. Yeah, how challenging did did you find it at times offensively to score against them? And I mean, I know going in, you, you knew how good they were defensively, but what just specifically made it tough tonight? Well, they've got good size and and uh, uh, athleticism, you know, at at, uh, at every position pretty much. So they they put a lot of pressure on you. But uh, I thought we had some really good moments. Um, you know, we had 38 in the third quarter. We had a good run there. Uh, it was mainly the fourth quarter that got us. So um, we feel confident with our ability to to score against them. Um, but like I said, uh, you give up 40 in the fourth and the other team makes 21 threes, um, it's going to be tough to win. Question in the middle here. Hey, Steve, I want to ask you about the, the shot dis, uh, disparaging, the shot spread out among the team. Specifically, Jordan Poole only had seven shots. Uh, do you think you need to do more to get um, him some open looks, or do you think it's upon him to just be more aggressive? Yeah, we'll, we'll watch the tape and we'll see, um, you know, what we what we need to do. Uh, I thought they uh, Boston did a good job on on Jordan, put a lot of pressure on him. And uh, there's probably some things that we can do uh, to help free him up. And then, you know, he, he's a he's a hell of a player. So he'll bounce back and, and play better too. Up front. Vince Good well, uh, Yahoo Sports right here, Steve. You held Tatum largely in check. I think it was three of 17. Was that the, basically the game plan going in that you're going to concede Derek White, Al Horford taking those shots and they just happened to hit him tonight? Well, you never go in conceding shots. Um, you know, you you you, you kind of have a, uh, a scouting report on each player. You know who you're going to close out um, hot to, who's your, who you're going to close out short to, all that stuff. Uh, it felt to me like we uh, we didn't close out very well uh, in the first half, and that allowed them to get going a little bit. Um, but again, got to got to watch the tape and see um, you know see where the breakdowns occurred. Barry in the middle. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Barry Bloom from Sportico. Uh, it's not just your team, but why do you think that there's been such wild disparities of play, not only from game to game in these playoffs, but from quarter to quarter? Uh, I think the three-point shot has a lot to do with that. I mean, you saw, I don't know how many they made in the fourth. Um, somebody in here probably knows they make seven or eight threes in the fourth quarter. Nine. Nine. Uh, so, you know, that's, uh, it, I think it has everything to do with the three point shot. It's, uh, you didn't see these kind of swings even a decade ago because you didn't have teams that could make threes from, from every position. And, 
you know, teams that, uh, you know, could string together uh, the, a number of threes like, like most teams can these days. So I think that's, that's probably the answer. Question on the left. Uh, Steve, Om Young was like ESPN. Uh, we were talking pregame about how you guys aren't in this position very often losing game one. How would you describe what the team is feeling right now? Well, obviously, you know, everybody's down. You want to you want to go out and uh, win the first one. And, and uh, we had every opportunity, you know, 12-point lead going into the fourth. So guys are bummed, uh, as you would expect. Um, but uh, it's a uh, it's a seven-game series for a reason. Um, I think, you know, you uh, – you give Boston credit. They came in there and and, uh, and earned the win, played a great fourth quarter. We'll come in, watch uh, watch the film tomorrow and see where we can get better. And, um, you know, it's it's one game, so you, you move on to the next one. Howard, back right. Howard, back Sports Illustrated. Steve, just picking up on, on Ohm's question, the, the record in game ones prior to this was – meant you guys were always in control early. How does it change things, do you think, whether it's uh, game plan, attitude, mentality, whatever, playing from behind in a series like this uh, in a way that you haven't before? Well, it's, uh, it's different for sure. I mean, uh, you know, when you, when you win game one at home, um, you know, there's a, there's a, a sense of comfort and, a, you know, you kind of have a feel for your opponent at that point and make your adjustments and, um, you know, so it's it's a different feeling. Obviously, you go into game two with, uh, you know, more of a sense of desperation. Um, but that's all part of this stuff. You know, we've uh, we've been in this position before and, um, you know, we've won series where we've where we've lost uh, the first game. Um, you know, you just uh, we've 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 won a road game, at least one road game. And I don't know how many consecutive series. Um, so you always kind of assume you're going to have to win on the road um, to win a playoff series. So it's a different feeling, but it's, you know, it's still first one to four. On the left. Monty Poole, NBC Sports Bay Area. Steve, you guys won the third quarter by 14. What are the things you want to take from that quarter? Obviously, you couldn't take into the fourth tonight, but what are the things you want to take from that quarter and move into the future games? Yeah, I thought the third was great for us. Uh, we moved the ball. We got offensive rebounds. Uh, we shared it. Um, we got, um, you know, some some really good looks against their defense. Because we were the aggressor, we kind of tied the game together. You know, good defense led to good offense and, and vice versa. And then in the fourth, that flipped. I thought we had some poor offensive possessions, and that led to some transition hoops for them, and that uh, that changed the game. Any final questions for Coach Kerr? Thanks, Coach. Thanks.